Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I just got back from Bath and Body Works and I did some damage. I got my spring candles. Spring and fall are my number one and two uh, times of the year to get candles from Bath and Body Works. And I'm super excited because they have a ton of nice new scents out for spring. And I'm very excited because it is still winter and dreary and snowy and cold here. So I'm going to show you all the things I got from Bath and Body Works. I had a 20% off my entire purchase coupon and then a free travel size item. So I'm going to unbox or I guess unbag everything and show you everything I got today at Bath and Body Works. All right guys, so like I said, I had a 20% off my entire purchase and then I had a free travel item. They always send them to me in the mail which is why they ask you when you go and check out at the register what your email is or your phone number, and then they will send you coupons pretty frequently. So I got 10 candles. I usually, um, in the fall and spring, try to get between 8 and 12 new candles, which can last me usually about two seasons. Now, I do like other candle brands as well. You guys know this. I really love the brand DW Home, which I order from their website usually once or twice a year. I also find their candles at Marshall's Home Goods and TJ Maxx, and I always uh, um, also like Yankee candles. I've loved those for years, but I find I do buy them less frequently, uh, but I am always looking for new candle brands. So I'm going to run through the candles first. I did not get any repeats, and I'm very excited for most of these being new or new to me scents. So the first one I got is this white caramel cold brew and it absolutely smells delicious the packaging is really cute as well uh, and the notes on these are cold brew coffee vanilla sweet cream and warm caramel drizzle i've talked about the price point before at bath and body works candles when they first came out with candles i feel like they were like 17 dollars maybe and over the years, they've done price increases. Now they're up to $24.50. I do not ever buy them when they're not on sale. And what I've seen them when they go on sale lately is 10 off. So it brings them down to $14.50. And then with a 20% coupon, it brings them down to $11.60. And of course, when they have that candle day for like $8 or $9, um, I stock up then as well. So this one smells really good. Very much like an iced coffee caramel kind of a scent. And I think the packaging is really cute as well. The next one I got is the Midnight Blue Citrus. Really cute packaging. It's very Mediterranean with, with kind of like this terracotta colored uh, top. And the notes on this are juicy citrus, fresh spring water, and sweet mango. And it does really smell absolutely delicious. Very fruity and fresh, but not overly sweet. And I really do love the packaging. It reminds me of like... A Mediterranean tile or something so I was really drawn to the packaging they did have quite a few candles in this collection this Mediterranean looking collection but I did only grab three of I think there's about eight different scents and this was really good the next candle I got kind of in that same collection is this Fiji white sands again that terracotta colored sort of top and this one is sugarcane white nectarine and sandalwood and it smells really really good Usually I find anything with the word Fiji in the title grabs my attention. It just has a nice like islandy vibe. And again, love the packaging. Really, really cute. And I love the tops. The last one I got from that same collection is Sun Drenched Linen. And this one is Cool Cotton, Crisp Apple, and Soft Musk. And it kind of has like a fresh laundry scent that's the best way to describe it it reminds me of when like you take a load of clothes out of the dryer and they're nice and fresh smelling so i really like that and i think this one will be even better when it's warm when it's burning because it smells really really good right now this one i am very i think i'm probably most excited for this one definitely in my top three it's the pineapple crumb cake i've always been a sucker for this mint green pastel color um, actually the next time i get my nails done i'm gonna get this mint green color i just absolutely love it so i was attracted to the packaging i'm always down for anything pineapple and just this one has just a black top on it and the notes say golden pineapple rich pound cake and sweet brown butter and it really truly captures like a it's almost like a creamy pineapple vanilla cake definitely really strong notes oh it smells so good of pineapple and then of course that cake creamy kind of scent as well 
definitely in my top three of this whole lot is this one is my favorite. I think I'm going to go ahead and burn this one first. I'm just about done with the rest of my fall and winter scents and I'm going to be moving on to these very soon and I think this is going to be the first one up because it smells amazing. This one here, I have this scent has been out for I want to say a few years, maybe even closer to like five years. They change the packaging a lot. Oh, it smells so good. This one has a very fresh, reminds me of like a kitchen smell. It's definitely, of course, lemon mint leaf, and it says sparkling lemon zest, spearmint leaves, and verbena sprigs, and it definitely captures like that fresh, lemony, minty scent. I absolutely love it, and of course, you guys know I love this color. So this is one I get, I don't know, at least once a year, and it's just a very fresh, and kind of lively scent. It's definitely like a pick-me-up scent and I absolutely love it. Next up is this one here called Cactus Blossom. First of all, love the packaging. It's actually a textured packaging, so it almost feels like the white part is raised. It actually has like a really cool texture to it, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and the scents on this are Cactus, Flower Petal, Sunkissed Coconut, Vanilla, and Fresh Sparkling Lemon. Mmm, it smells so good. It has like a sweet but sort of floral at the same time scent. But again, nothing overpowering. I don't like when scents are too sweet. I would prefer like a masculine scent over something being too sweet. But I really love this. I really love the packaging. It's so cool how it's raised. Um, I don't know. They're just really stepping it up with the packaging lately, especially in the past couple years. So very excited for this one. The next one is Cucumber and Lily, really pretty for spring, black top, and mm, it smells so good, very fresh. It says fresh cucumber, green tea, lily of the valley with essential oils. It definitely has a cucumber vibe, a little bit of a floral vibe. It just smells really, really good. I love actually sniffing the inside of the tops because it's really a strong scent, uh, but yeah, it smells really good and I could not pass this one up. I do like a cucumber scent for sure. The next two are sort of this like tropical cabana vibe. I was very excited for the for this line. This is the Oceanside Garden. It has these beautiful sort of palm leaves on it. Mm, it smells so good. So the notes on this are fresh lemon, sweet jasmine, and cedarwood. I definitely get the jasmine vibes. Mm, definitely. It's very strong jasmine scent. I don't get a lot of lemon, but I can definitely smell like that woodsy jasmine smell, but it's also very mild. It's not too overpowering to where it kind of takes your breath away when you smell it. Mm, it smells so good, and I actually think out of all of them, I think the packaging on this is really pretty. This is one that I would probably save and put it in the freezer when it's at the bottom so all of the rest of the wax comes out and repurpose this container. How pretty would this be with like makeup brushes or even like pens or pencils? It's just a really pretty packaging and I absolutely think it's perfect for spring. And then the last candle I got is this Banana Cabana and it's sort of a similar packaging with the leaves and mm, if you don't like banana, I'll warn you, you probably won't like this, but this is Sunkissed Banana Sea Spray and Warm Vanilla. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like a creamy vanilla banana with a little hint of like tropical in it. Again, beautiful packaging. I absolutely love it. They are just really killing it, but I think I like this one a little bit better packaging wise, but it just smells phenomenal. And again, if you don't like banana, you'd probably want to avoid this one. They also had a banana like cupcake or banana pound cake or something like that as well, but I decided I liked this one a little bit more than the other one. So those are the candles and now I want to show you guys uh, the rest of the stuff I got. Um, all of these items here except one are for other people. Um, also I wanted to share I got if you ask for um, like cello bags for example or boxes they will give them to you. These are the candle boxes and um, even though this batch of candles I think if I gifted any of them, it would only be a couple, but to be honest, most of these are going to be for us um, to burn in the house, 
and then when I have the next candle sale rolls around, I'll grab whatever I need for gifts. But these are really nice, pretty gift boxes for the candles. The lady actually offered them to me. Um, so I said, sure, I'll take a few. And then I always ask for cello bags whenever I'm checking out, no matter what I'm getting, because I use these all the time for gifting and crafty things. These are actually going to be for a DIY um, that I need them for. Now the rest of the items, this was my freebie. It's the Thousand Wishes body lotion and I'm actually going to use this on our vacation next month to Florida because it's TSA approved and it's perfect just to bring for a nice four day trip. So this was free and then the rest of these items are going to be gifts. So the two hair masks I'm going to give to my mom. She's always complaining about her hair being weak and dry and her birthday is coming up in less than a month. So this is going to be part of her gift. They are the Intense Repair Coconut Protein Vitamin E and then the Strengthening Bamboo Biotin and Protein and they're just kind of leave-in hair masks. They were $10.50 a piece and then again guys I got the 20% off. And then these two items are for a friend of mine that has a birthday the end of this month that I have to go out and ship to her. So this is the Aromatherapy Peppermint Essential Oil B uh, Body Wash and it's 10 ounces and this one was $13.50 again with the 20% off but she loves anything essential oil and anything peppermint so when I saw this I thought it would be right up her alley and she just I know in general she just likes the aromatherapy line so I saw they had a bunch of body creams so I grabbed this one I did smell all of the ones I thought she'd be interested in but this is the one I thought she would like the most it is the Island Edition Energy with Plumeria, Plumera, I don't know how to say that, Plumeria, and Mandarin. And it says with natural essential oils. Um, these are $15.50. I don't know if I said that. And again, the 20% off really helped out. So these couple things I'm going to ship out to her. And I also have already gotten her some chocolate as well as a Starbucks gift card. So this completes the gift that I need to mail out in probably about a week and a half actually. So yeah guys, that is everything I got from Bath and Body Works today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of you guys are starting to think about getting your spring candles as well. So hopefully hearing a little bit more descriptions about these will help you make up your mind because there are a lot of scents. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.